fixing everything and uh, let's try today to sort out this uh, steam iron only if I can see it got so much slime scale there's so much you can see on the inside I just close it off I'll get the whole boiler now and I'll start shaking it so the water can actually get everywhere and I'll leave it like that for as long as I can wait you can see it's building up some pressure as well it's already starting to clean up can you see oh, very nice okay I will shake it a little bit more okay what I'm gonna try to do now I'll plug it in the power and we'll see if it works maybe it does work least powerful good so I'll let it heat up inside yeah and I'll shake it at the same time okay it's very important that you shake up and you open straight away otherwise the pressure will start building up and that's will be it so now we don't want it to be with the lid on it's like just like a kettle yeah it will start boiling up and we need to stop it at some point so be close to it and when we can hear it bobbing yeah getting up to pressure or uh, getting up to temperature I'll just switch it off, you can hear now. That it starts to uh, accumulate heat. And I can feel it here as well. <clears throat> I can already see that uh, it cleans up, can you see? You can see the bubbles. Oh, yeah, you can, yeah. Good. Maybe for a little bit more. <coughs> Don't even think of putting the cap on and then um, opening it while it's hot. What I'm gonna do now, you can see it starts to bubble out, I'll stop it. I'll let it cool down for a second and I'll just tip it into the sink. And now is the moment. You can see all this nice kill. look yeah pretty bad so let's go for another round same thing okay so after five rounds of uh, cleaning tipping cleaning tipping three tablets five rounds I uh, rinsed it twice now so we'll get it full of water I will let it warm up and we'll see how it performs had a problem with the there is like a safety valve valve on this uh, pulty. When it's hot, you can't undo it. But I just poked the little thing inside, so it should be fine. Good. Now I turn it on. 
needs to be needs to be plugged in the power. Let it warm up, and while it's warming up, I'll just give it a little wipe here from the from the thing. Why is this too, so stubborn? There we go. Good. And now let's see this one. This one doesn't look that bad. Okay, now I'll run it until it turns down that, then this, okay? This light and this light. What about this here? Can I clean them up? I'm waiting. <coughs> You can see it starts to make vapors and all this, so to have a good good power it needs to warm up properly in the bottom here. So let's give it a couple of minutes to warm up nicely. <coughs> Nothing yet. What is it when I was uh, pumping the water like five times on the second tablet I rinsed it after the second tablet and with clean water I started uh, pressing the button before it warms up so it uh, just uh, uh, sputtered water from the outside and also I was pressing the button and tilting this thing so it can get water and steam water and steam water and steam to uh, sputter through the area here and also with a big barbecue pick I did this to make sure all the passages are clear for the steam okay now there it's proper working now Yeah. So I would recommend using clean water, distilled water for iron, iron, steam irons, and for uh, car batteries. Yeah, don't use hard water from the sink. Um, you can use uh, these tablets for uh, coffee machines and kettles to remove the scale but keep in mind that you might clog up the solenoid valve uh, that's it i was thinking to but it's, but it's okay you can see let's go on the other side
I'm definitely not the best at ironing. I just want to show you the model. 